Thank you for watching. My name is Tom and you're watching Tom Stack Academy. In this video, you're going to learn how to automate desktop applications with Robot Framework slash Robocorp. Let's dive right into the Robot Framework. The first step is to download a program that's called Accessibility Insights. And that's this program. So let's navigate to Downloads. And I'm going to download the version for Windows. So click here. And I'm going to open the installer. Just follow the installation wizard. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use an example application. And you can find that example application at rpa-unlimited.com. Navigate to the YouTube example applications and course material, and then click on download my CRM. Click here, download application. And I will download the zip, show it in folder. I extract it. And I'm going to copy my CRM.exe. And I'm going to place it in the following folder, C drive. Then I created a folder here that's called apps, and I'm going to paste my CRM here. If you press the Windows key and R, you can type mycrm.exe. But if you press OK, nothing is happening yet. And we're going to use this method to open the application. And in order to make sure that this works, go to the Windows symbol, then search for my PC, right click, click properties. And then click on advanced system settings, environment variables, and we're going to add the pad variable here. So search for a variable called pad. If you already have Python installed, you probably see also Python here. And then go back. And then I'm just going to paste this entire folder, copy it, and then click here new. Control V, paste it, click OK, OK, OK. And let's try this again. So press Windows R, type mycrm.exe, and then the CRM application should start. And this is exactly how we're going to start this application by the RPA bot. So let's open Accessibility Insights, the application that we've just installed. Click here. I'm just going to reduce the size of it a bit. If you hover over another application, like mycrm, you can get information about the elements based on which this application has been built. So at this moment, you see the group name. So that's a group of multiple form elements, but you can also hover over the individual form elements, for example, the first name. And if you hover, so after you've hovered over this element, you can also click on the pause button here. That's a bit easier. And then you can inspect the elements. So let's inspect the name. And there are two elements that are important. And the first element that is important is the automation ID. And that's this one, text box, people, first name. And I would recommend if the automation ID is unique to program your robot based on the automation ID. You can also use the name because most of the times it's also unique, but my preference is still the ID. You can also copy the ID. So click here, click copy selected properties, but it will also give you the attribute name. So let's just open notepad to see that. And if I'm pasting here, you see automation ID, text box, people, first name. So let's just copy this one. Let's remove the automation ID and let's close notepad. And let's go back to VS Code. So in the settings, we're going to only use one library here. And that's the library rpa.windows. In some other YouTube videos, you can see that multiple other libraries are recommended. But if you want to do only desktop automation, you only need RPA Windows. Of course, if it concerns Windows. Then I'm going to skip straight to the tasks. I'm going to create another task. And I'm going to call this task at customer to CRM system. Enter. And use tab. Now, the first thing we need to do is open the MyCRM application because we cannot assume that it's always open in the beginning. And in order to do that, type Windows run, use tab, and then we need to define the application that we want to run, which is called mycrm.exe, enter. And the second thing, we want to show to the robot which screen it needs to focus. So type control window, and now we need to have the title of the application, and that's mycrm sample app, mycrm sample app. And then let's just continue with our first command. And if you want to type somewhere, you're going to use send keys, use tab. 
And then we're going to use the locator. And the locator is the one that we have copied already. So, and we're going to locate this element based on the ID and then press Ctrl V to paste. Text box, people, first name. And what do we want to type in this field here? Uh, let's just add a customer that's called Emma. Okay, let's close my CRM and let's just test the bot. You see that it takes a while, but eventually the robot adds Emma to the first name. And let's open again Accessibility Insights. Then I'm not going to show how to type the last name and uh, the address, etc., because they're just the same as the first name, but with a different locator. So for now, let's focus on clicking on the radio button female here. And you see if I hover over that button, I'm just going to cl click pause here. You see that there is an automation ID as well. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to again close the accessibility insights. Open Notepad. Paste it here. And then you see that the ID is radiant button female. So just copy that. I always copy stuff because if you type over things, you always make mistakes. <laughs> and Ctrl C, Ctrl V just makes life so much easier. So let's close it. And then we're going to use a mouse click. So type click, use tap. And then we're again teaching the robot how to identify the element based on the ID. Ctrl V, radio button female. And we don't have to give any other input here. Let's go back to my CRM and let's open again Accessibility Insights because the next thing I want to do is I want to select a state here. And for that, of course, we're going to use another command. First, I'm going to pause this thing here and let's again see if we can use the ID. And this is the ID. Copy it. Close Accessibility Insights. Open Notepad. Paste it and just copy this one. And here I'm not going to use a click. Uh, I'm going to use a select keyword. You step again. I'm going to identify it based on the ID. Just paste the ID that we've just copied. And then we have to provide the state that we want to select from this select dropdown. And I'm going to go for Washington. So type WA. Enter. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to activate this checkbox. Go to other. Click save, and then you see that another pop-up appears and you can just click on OK here. So those are four additional keywords that we then still have to add. So let's open Accessibility Insights. And let's hover over the active checkbox. I'm going to pause it again. Okay, first let's look for the automation ID. The automation ID here is checkbox one. So let's just copy that. And just type click ID checkbox one. Okay, I'm going to close the application and just do another run just to see if the bot works. And you see it successfully clicks female, selects Washington and then activates the active checkbox. And let's open again Accessibility Insights. Then we're going to click on the Order tab, this one. Pause it. Let's inspect it. And as you can see, this element doesn't have an automation ID. So I'm going to look for the name. Here it is. And the name is Order. So copy it. Close the tool. Open Notepad. I'm just going to copy Order. I'm going to click again on name order. Then we have to change the state of the application because from now on we're going to work in the order tab. So go, go to order. And then let's open accessibility insights again. And we want to click on the save button. Pause it. I see that the save button has an automation ID, which is button one. Copy it, open Notepad, close this tool. Click ID button one. And then as I already mentioned, so if you click here and you have to click here in order to get this pop-up, then we still have to click on this OK button. 
So open accessibility insights for the last time. Just going to change the position a bit over over the button. Pause it. And the automation ID is two, which is a bit weird, but we can work with it anyway. Close the tool. Make sure to close the pop-up and also the application. And then add the ID, which is two. Run the robot. I see that robot works entirely correct. I hope you have the same result. If you have any challenges with this robot, please let me know in the comments so that we can help you. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about Robocorp and the robot framework, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.